hey hello guys uh, uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, hope everyone is doing great and uh, uh, yes it's a uh, right time to uh, having a discussion of dependency injection so the word dependency injection is the small term but it has a very big concept uh, it's holding up so in this session we were going to see about what is dependency injection so let's take uh, two example one is without dependency injection and the next one is with dependency injection so uh, for that uh, i just don't want to uh, code uh, while talking in this video instead i have uh, already created an uh, code for the basic code for this so i just walk through what i have done so first let's see about uh, without dependency injection and second let us uh, see about uh, with dependency injection so this code which i am working uh, is like a very latest x code is uh, x code uh, uh, 11.5 and uh, it supports of the iOS 13 so in, you, you also uh, if you want means you can also have an uh, uh, walk through in this and uh, you can uh, try it in your own so the first thing which I have done in this year I have created a view controller where I have created a uh, button called next so in storyboard uh, we have a two view controller the first one is uh, uh, view controller and second one is the destination view controller where we have a next screen button if you click on it means it will goes to the next screen so that's all very simple so in the on click next i have uh, right an uh, destination vc where i have created an um, uh, uh, identifier name as destination so we see so i have al already kept an uh, identifier name as like uh, here you see uh here i have kept the identifier as destination vc so i have kept the identifier name as destination vc and also inside the uh, destination vc i have a model called my custom model it has a uh, title so in the view did load uh, is self title i am just uh, making uh, my model uh, title as this so whenever uh, once we came from the view controller page to the destination page where we will get the value from the my custom model and it will fetch in the title so this is what i have done so while uh, pushing i have just uh, created a model uh, and kept the name as i guys so this particular will be initiated uh, to this my model and this my model gets a value of uh, title and this title will be gets replicated to, to this view model so let's run and check this yes so once i click on the uh, next screen it just moves to the next screen where uh, it's pushed and i guys uh, string it's appeared so yes this is done with which is very simple so why the, uh, we want to use dependency injection let's see an example for it so consider uh, in case if i i am not uh, doing this kind of uh, initialization to this uh, my model and the compiler won't tell any uh, kind of uh, error to me and it doesn't show in it doesn't throw any uh, error through this so in case if i run the code like this means let's see what's happening yes i'm going to click on next screen yes it gets uh, cra uh, crashed the reason is like in the my model the my title was nil so this is the uh, case uh, where uh, you can you cannot predict uh, when there is be uh, issue will appear so to resolve this there are many kind of ways there but to resolve this i am using a dependency injection over here so what we need to do is like this is an example of uh, without dependency injection so now i am going to do with dependency injection for this let's go to the uh, destination vc where we have an uh, initializer code and the required in it so this uh, initializer code will have a two param one is coder and next one is my model this uh, coder will be initialized in the super unit and this my model will be initialized in self dot my model so basically what it will do is like it just uh, initiates the model which is coming to the initializer or constructed whatever we call it as and this will gets initialized to this self dot my model so that's it and once uh, whenever we initializing the init function we have to write and require init function also in case if there is any error this will get under the fatal error so this is what uh, we, we need to do so for this we have an uh, same kind of things where uh, let's do uh, as like this I'm going to do 
push to same guard let destination vc equals to self dot storyboard dot you will have a uh, new different uh, uh, function where it is called uh, in, uh, initiant uh, initial view controller with the creator so this is what we need to use this is basically a dependency injection so uh, i'm going to choose the identifier as well as the creator what it will do is like in the in the term in the in the place of identifier we have to give the uh, identifier name and next thing we have to do is like a uh, coder and this will uh, returns the uh, view controller for example return destination vc and we have to uh, thing so let's take uh, like uh, ns coder and my my model so in this place we have to pass this coder and in the place of my model we have to we have already created a my model for this so like uh, you, you see the example like without the model the code won't exist so this is the case like uh, without any uh, if, if you don't write this uh, my model code means uh, this this particular code won't exist so while the time of uh, running the code itself you can understand like which uh, part is necessary and which part is not necessary so without uh, uh, doing this, if you randomly do this means you will get a fatal error or the nil error when you miss those these lines. So this is the um, very good uh, pattern which we have to follow. So in the, in the uh, L statement, uh, we have to just uh, return the fatal error. let's type it as here yes and i'm going to push this to the next view controller where the view controller name is as destination vc this one and animated equal to true yes it's done actually i've already uh, written the sample here so i'm just uh, going to remove this so yes it's done so i'm going to run this code yes you see the next button is get appeared uh, when you click on the next button this particular line it gets appeared so in case if i if i fail to give this means this particular code won't get run so this is the major advantages of the dependency injection and this was the one of the beautiful example and uh, if you want to use this uh, instantiate view controller identifier with the coder you have to use the latest text code because in the previous version x code we won't have this kind of uh, uh, options which was provided by the uh, x code so whenever you use yeah make sure we are using the latest text code so that's a simple example of the dependency injection <coughs> If you like this video, please uh, give a like button and subscribe me for more videos. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.